Okay, you guys, so now for the second part of the video, or the haul video, I will be sharing with you guys the drugstore finds. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. So for the drugstore, I mainly purchased them in Target and in CVS. Oh my god. They don't understand how excited I get when I say I want to go to CVS or Walgreens, but the drugstore and the pharmacy in the U.S. is just very different. I really find a lot of good things below $10. Of course, when I leave the drugstore, my bill is not $10, but anyway. So I put it all in this bag. This is going to be very random. Okay, let's start with the uh, eyelashes. These I found in Target. My aunt was actually already using them, told me about them. Um, excuse me. So they're by Allure. These are the ones from the UK, as you can see. So I got two kinds and I wanted to try them first. This is volume number three. It's a multi-pack. This is how it looks. And then this one is the lengthening one. So I got lengthening and volume. This is a two-pack with a lash adhesive and that's how it looks. Because I'm traveling, this is one of my favorite liquid soaps or body washes and it's by Caress. It's a white peach and orange blossom silk essence. This and Dial also makes an almond milk, almond and honey which I really like. This is pretty. This is a lot. It's 8, 88 ml. I actually have two. I bought two for the trip and one I still have in my shower and this one is another one that I have. And then this is by the brand Smooth Sexy Hair. This is the Smooth and Seal. It's an anti-frizz and a shine spray in one. This is how it looks. This is a travel size. Just wanted to try it out first and then I got this Biolage Matrix Color Last Conditioner for color treated hair. Travel size as well, I just wanted to try because I can always get the full version here. A buxom lightweight liquid lipstick and good babe gone bad lip color. I'm not so sure. This is how it looks. Haven't tried it. I probably should. And then I got a Hypnose Drama. I love this mascara. This is one of my Holy Grail mascaras. So beautiful travel size here and then I got this universal brow pencil with active brow enhancing technology and I think I actually tried the tester when I was in the store so I'm excited to have this I came across this in Target as well it's one of the wet and wild color icon ombre blush and the rest was sold out but of course I'm gonna try to get my hand on at least one so this is the one in in a purple haze 317 B this is how it looks and this is how it looks it's like a lilac -y, light pink light purple so I mean on my skin tone I'm not so sure how much this is gonna show up I've actually never tried this but I've heard things about it I do have a lot of blushes on though that now though cuz I just put the I just put the Becca Luminous blush as well. Well, it's not going to hurt, and I'm going to try to layer this on top a bit. I'm just going to go to the center. So it's a very light pink. It might not even be really that much for me or show up. I think I just have too much things now on my face. I don't know if you can see anything, but I think this one acts more like a highlight for me. I think. I'm not sure. I should try this in another video, but... I've heard great things about this, so maybe I can use it as a highlight. I came across such inexpensive products, but this is from LA Colors. They have a matte lipstick, very promising, and this gloss, which I'm sure is not made with good ingredients, but when I swatched it, and I will swatch it for you guys, this is the matte one, and this is a beautiful color, you guys. It's in Snuggle GLC812. You can see why. This is up my alley. Oh my god, I have swatches from the luxury video, but honestly, you guys, it's very substantial, even when I apply it. I mean, that is gorgeous, you guys. This is one of those things where, um, yeah, you don't, there are some things that, of course, the ingredients may be, but it feels amazing. And it was honestly, I think it was a dollar or maybe two. So I'm very excited for this one. And the packaging is actually really cute. So. It's LA Girl, and then it's the matte lipstick. And then, this is LA Colors. Maybe they're two different companies. One is LA Girl. This is a lip gloss. It just says, I mean, lip shimmer. 
and I will swatch it. And you guys, oh my god, I mean, it's this one here. It looks like a foil and not a gloss. It kind of reminds me, if you guys have seen Jouer's new um, lip topper called Skinny Dip, because of the swatches of Christina, it does look like that. I don't have it on, so give me a sec. I'm going to dab my lip a bit. I'm not taking off the Tom Ford lipstick. I'm just going to remove the gloss a bit. Okay, so not much gloss there anymore. I'm going to apply this LA Colors and let's see. Definitely a sheen. What are we feeling, you guys? I am not so sure. I can't see it so well because I have all these lights and my viewfinder, my mirror is quite far. So that's how it looks. It's not really a gloss, it's like a It's a beautiful foil sheen. I'm not sure, but so anyway, that's so that's the one. And then the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, which I've heard so much about. And so this is how it looks. I got the shade, and I think the shade I got was wrong. Zero Two Natural. I think for my Mac NC30, this is a bit dark. So the next time I go down to the states, I'm definitely going to get another one. But it's a beautiful medium to buildable full coverage. I don't know, it looks white behind the hand, but on my skin it looks a bit, like a bit dark for me. I think because after a while it dries down, not matte, I think it's a satin. The finish is a satin, uh, I think, or is it a matte? I think it's a matte though, but I remember that the finish sometimes like I would have to moisturize my skin because sometimes it tends to make my skin look dry or have patches. I can't really remember but I know that something was going on the few times that I tried it. So this one I still have to try out a bit more but definitely coverage is medium to buildable and I'm a medium to buildable girl so I like that. And then I came there also for Giordana. Giordana is like a very inexpensive brand. Although lately their prices have become so much higher. Before there was hardly anything above $5 or even maybe 3 or 2 So anyway, um, I always use to stock up on their Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I think inexpensive drugstore, this is one of the better ones. And I think it's $7.99. Before it used to be $4.99 or something crazy like that. And this is the one that I really want to share with you guys. It's from Jordana, and I think I almost pretty much got all the colors they had. And this was for $2.99. I don't know. Maybe I should hold it this way. These are their matte lipsticks. This is how the packaging looks like. Let me show you guys. And I was very impressed. So here are the shades I've swatched. And I tried to make them all fit in the back of my hand. So let's begin here with a neutral beige. This is matte blush. This mid-tone cool base pink is matte tease. This one is matte adorable, which is the light cool tone pink. This is matte pretty, which is a nude peach neutral. This one is matte it girl which is like a pink fuchsia magenta or violetish pink and then this one the darkest one is called matte dare so those are the matte shades from Jordana and I think for $2.99 it was really worth trying I purchased one first and then I was so impressed that I had to go back for it these are how they look and they're all mattes and honestly like I like the formula they're not dry so it was worth the try so I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I bought six of their shades, which I think they only had like eight or less than ten. This is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water All-in-One. Very similar, of course, to Bioderma. Half the price. Clearly, you can see how much I've used. I've only had this for three weeks or maybe even less. So I have been enjoying this. And I think for all the dupes or copycats of the Bioderma micellar water. This is the one that comes close to it. Although 
I would have to say the Bioderma is still holy grail. I mean, it still it feels better. Everything is just better about it. The formulation of the original is is still the best, and that's what I could say. But if you if you guys um, can't afford the Bioderma, it's about twenty U.S. in Canada. It's about twenty six after tax. Or yeah, um, this is a very very good alternative, and for me, this is the best um, dupe for the Bioderma Missler. So I believe that's about it. And if there's any of these products that you would like to see a full review on, you can leave me a message or comment down below. Um, I guess that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.